Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the pre-beta news ja news roundup. It's Jax the Batman here. Bring and we're basically rounding up all the news concerning the betas coming out very soon. Tomorrow for PlayStation in two days for Xbox. On the Xbox's beta release, you can if you want to play with me, I will be on from around 6 p.m. Eastern Time to 8 p.m. Eastern Time for anyone who wants to play with me. I will be uploading the first mission that day if I can get it edited in time. I'd also like to note once again, or maybe it's the first time I've noticed this, I'm not sure, that all my Destiny 2 PvP will be 100% raw. Like, I won't have my voice in it because I feel like when I commentate, I um, lose a little bit of fun because I'm too busy like trying to keep everything, like keep talking and stuff, and it distracts me. And I like just, I, I don't want to take everything in, so all my PvP gameplay will be 100% raw, unless I'm gonna be like talking over it or something. So let's get into the actual news. So here's what it is. So just we're gonna round up everything from everything's like important, some things that have just stood out to me, just everything from that very first release trailer to E3 to all the little leaks everything all right we're gonna start this so first of all there is no longer primary secondary and primary special sorry primary special and heavy anymore it is now kinetic which is all primaries and sidearms without elemental damage. There is also going to be energy, replacing special for all primaries and sidearms with elemental damage. Now the second thing will be where heavy is gone and where snipers have gone. Snipers, shotguns, fusion rifles, linear fusion rifles, rockets, and grenade launchers, anything that can one-shot outside of supers is now in the power weapon slot, which is the equivalent to heavy. Now, one thing to note about this is that um, they have added a bunch of new types of heavy, and heavy will be coming up every round in countdown, and I'm not sure the time interval for control, because that one is very subject to change, so it's the countdown one, but that is been the most played thing they offered, so they have to be at least close to having the final product, so that's what I'm going with. Um, also, sticky grenades, no longer one shot, that's why only super is one shot now. There are also now super duels in PvP, it now takes two hits from every super to kill another guardian in their super, which means Arkstrider vs. Sentinel, Sentinel vs. Dawnblade, Arkstrider vs. Dawnblade, Golden Gun vs. Dawnblade, or Golden Gun vs. Sentinel, etc. Now, I know I just listed a bunch of combos when I could just listed one, but I'm hyped. I can't talk and this is not scripted. I'm just speaking. Like, I've got the news pulled up in front of me, but I mean, I'm just speaking right now. So, next up is the PvE. Most people think that it has suffered at the point of balance and it hasn't really I'm not sure about so sure about that it seems like it'll be fine um it seems like it'd still be fun now moving on I know I kind of touched on that really slowly um set rules are there is now set rules on every gun every single gun has set rules like so basically that kind of scares me. That is the one thing that scares me, is set rules. It kind of takes away the loot portion. The way Bungie could probably stop this from happening is if they just had a ton of loot. And I mean like a... Shh, like a guy with high fiber ton of loot. Please excuse my uh, pun right there. Um, yeah. So... They also need to lower the amount of legendaries and exotics that drop. Because, well, I can head into a Crucible game, camp in the corner, and get zero kills and 50 deaths, and pull a legendary. 
maybe even two. That is not something that should happen for Destiny 2 because of set rules. If they do that to where only the good people and to the only the people that will work hard get loot, then it becomes a loot-based game again that you have to work for. It's not, like, so easy. Now, moving on from the loot, there is also now Iron Temple is being made into a map, which is cool, which that's kind of random. There's also a mantle mechanic, which, in case you don't know what mantle is, if you misjudge a jump, you can, and you, like, are close to the wall, and it's like a ledge. It like lifts you up. It's kind of like um, Tether from Super Smash Bros. Where you would be Link and you would fall off the map and then you would grapple up. Uh, that's kind of random, but that's just a cool mechanic. Um, now for PvE, um, this is a very big thing I probably should have mentioned earlier on. Clans are becoming an even bigger part. As a matter of fact, there's actually now a matchmaking like a sort of quote-unquote matchmaking system in raids based on clans. So basically what I'm saying is, get in a clan. Link in the description to my clan, if you want to join that. Um, yeah, there's also going to be, instead of, they've replaced artifacts with clan banners. Not Nobody really has gameplay of what that is, because there's no clan affiliation in the current... A game model we've played. Not sure if there's going to be in the beta. But for said beta, it is going to be incredibly cool to explore some stuff. Endless Veil and um, another, the map we got to use at the reveal are the available maps for the beta. So there's that. Just to quickly refresh that. Now, I'm not sure if Vostok, the Iron Temple map, is going to be on there. Now, we have not covered all the news, but this is just the stuff that stuck out to me. I know most of this is PvP, because that is the thing with most value in the beta. Because, well, you can play PvP as many times as you want, and you're never going to have the exact same match. And that is a true story. So, um, that's all for today. We'll do PvE news and stuff in a video before Destiny 2 when PvE matters. So, peace out, Guardians. I will see you in the Crucible or Overwatch PvP, but probably not because I'm not going to stop playing Destiny 2 for the next, uh, until it ends. And, peace out.